Welcome to Upton Park for a vital game for Charlton Athletic this afternoon. Indeed a vital game for Birmingham City as well. Both sides really on a poor run. Charlton having lost their last four games, including that Coca-Cola Cup defeat against Berry. So the Addicts looking to get back on the winning trail this afternoon. They run the changes, Charlton, this afternoon, and in particular in goal, where Mike Salmon comes in for his first game for two years. Bob Boulder steps down, so it's Mike Salmon in goal for Charlton. Linvoy Primus comes in for his league debut in place of Simon Webster, who is injured this afternoon. And Darren Pitcher, with a foot infection, steps down, which means a return for John Bumstead. So three changes from the Charlton side that lost 4-3 at Derby last week. Birmingham as well, they brought in a young man to make his league debut, 17-year-old Graham Potter. He'll be wearing the number three shirt for Birmingham this afternoon. And possibly the man to watch out for on loan from Southampton in the Premier League. It's David Speedy returning to the Midlands where he enjoyed a successful spell with Coventry City. He could well be the man to watch at number nine for Birmingham. So it'll be the visitors to kick off this afternoon. Attacking the goal to my right, wearing an all blue strip. Charlton, of course, in their familiar colours of red shirts, white shorts and red socks. And an early touch there for Mike Salmon, his first touch in the Charlton first team for two years. Didn't play at all last season. He's waited a long time for his chance. Steve Gatting with the free kick. This will fall for Walsh. He's whipped the cross in early. Oh, it's all the way across the face of the goal and Graham Potter was the man that put it out on the far side. Walsh whipped the ball in. Paul Holmes was the Birmingham number two. Failed to get the challenge in there. And the ball was allowed to go all the way across the goal there before Potter put it out for a corner. Minto on the throw on this near side. Leeburn for Charlton. This is Kim Grant. And Leeburn, that's a fine ball inside the fullback for Walsh, and he's kept it in now. And again, he's got the ball across. And there's a chance now, possibly for Grant. Oh, it's a super save. An absolutely marvellous reaction save from Les Seeley. Kim Grant must have thought he'd got his name on the score sheet there. And that's Charlton's best move of the match so far. Again, Walsh the provider, the cross from the left. Hardy was the man who got the ball back and Grant got this foot in and Seeley made a fantastic save. So another corner for Charlton. Walsh again on that far side. And Grant the head up and it came off Holmes. And it's out for a corner and Kim Grant thwarted twice in a matter of seconds. And Les Seeley is none too pleased at the marking in that Birmingham defence. Walsh it was with the corner. Grant had an absolute free header. And Holmes was the man that cleared off the line. Robinson runs over it. Walsh. And Lindvoy Primus at the back post. And again, Les Seeley unhappy with his defence there. On loan from Aston Villa. Known as being something of a character, if that's the right word. But you can see his point because Lindvoy Primus had a free header at the far post. And that's cut out well by Stuart Farmer. And Farmer allowing Farmer going all the way. And there's a chance now for Grant and the shot. And he's pulled it across the face of the goal, Kim Grant. And with a bit more luck, he could have had a hat trick in this first half. Stuart Farmer did very well to bring the ball out of defence. And Grant some five or six yards wide with the shots. This is Robinson. Walsh, and now Minto. Nelson working hard. Walsh again. Nelson. The cross towards Leeburn. Leeburn gets up, and Robinson's in there, but Seeley makes the save.
Speedy got up. Minto gets it forward. Good touch by Lieburn. Nelson. And Minto into the space. And Minto with a chance. And Robinson couldn't get on the end of it. I'm not sure whether that was a cross or a shot. But it's another chance for Charlton who's gone begging. Scott Minto made an intelligent run and Colin Walsh threaded a lovely pass through and I think Minto was aiming for goal John Robinson of course got a goal for Charlton last week his first for the club this is Nelson and Holmes gets it clear for Birmingham speedy with the touch off Linvoy Primus with a good header. And there's Lebo running into the space. And now Walsh. And Walsh goes ever so close again for Charlton. Robinson couldn't get a touch on it. Charlton just can't seem to get the ball into the net this afternoon. It's been a frustrating afternoon so far for the Addicts. It was well laid off by Carl Lieber and Walsh again going for goal and some three or four yards wide of that far post. <laughs> Referee Mike James from Horsham blows the final whistle. It's been a frustrating afternoon for Charlton and it's finished Charlton Athletic nil, Birmingham City nil. And if there's one man who's emerged from this game with a great deal of credit, it's Linvoy Primus making his league debut this afternoon. Linvoy picked up the Man of the Match award from London Weekend Television. Yeah, well, I was a little bit nervous. I knew the cameras were in, and I thought all my friends might be watching, so I had to do what I had to do. Right. It's fair to say, as a club, though, Charlton, being part of the Charlton staff, they do give youngsters like you your head, don't yeah, they? Yeah, that's right. Well, they, um, because of financial troubles, of course, well, they have to rely on the young players, and I'm glad I got my chance. Right. What do you make of the game overall? Oh, well, it was a good game. Um, we had a lot of chances. Very unlucky. They had a couple of chances, but um, it was there for the taking. We didn't take it, but okay. it goes. Well, you only got the one point, but you, yeah. you've got the bottle yeah. to, to go away with. Um, you've been drinking that all at once? No, not all at once. Share it with everyone. Right. Okay, you share it out yeah. among the dressing room yeah. there. This season must...